Your Natchez History Minute is brought to you by Natchez National Historical Park. Mount Locust is one of the oldest structures still standing along the Natchez Trace. John Blomart began what would become Mount Locust in 1780, but his tenure here was short-lived. After leading a failed rebellion against the Spanish, he was jailed and forfeited his pro fortune and property. Blomart's former business associate, William Ferguson, and his wife, Paulina, purchased Mount Locust in 1784 and set about building it into a prosperous plantation. Due to the ever-increasing number of travelers along the Natchez Trace, the Fergusons turned their plantation home into a stand, or a crude inn, as another source of income. Travelers paid a mere 25 cents for the much-needed food and overnight accommodations. After William's death in 1801, Paulina married James Chamberlain, the overseer of the burgeoning Mount Locust plantation. Paulina outlived both her husbands, dying in 1849, a very wealthy woman, leaving behind an estate of over a thousand acres and around a hundred enslaved African Americans to her heirs. Mount Locust was home to five generations of Chamberlains, with the last leaving in 1944. The National Park Service began restoration in 1954, returning the home to its 1820 appearance. Today, the site is open daily, except for Christmas Day, and admission is free. This is Jake Dinklocker, a park ranger with the Natchez Trace here at Mount Locust, and this is your Natchez History Minute.